All right, I wanted to make a short commentary on trading ideas put forth on TradingView.com. I'm currently very busy trying to backtest my strategies properly. Um, and the fact is, just a little modification in your model, such as paying commissions or not. Let's look at here if we can find the commissions. Zero, 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 right? Obviously, I'm going to be paying commissions and... Um, Having to pay as much as $9 per commission is going to pretty much make the difference between a 1000% profit and 0% profit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty rough, right? Uh, reason for that is that this is very sensitive, right? It's very, very sensitive to change these types of data formats. Now, the same thing with indicators is they're also very sensitive. Uh, to additional information, additional inquiry, that inquiry being correct and sensible, right? As soon as um, the market consolidates here and shows some momentum, people were like, hey, it's going to go up, and they were right. Um, and then here, most people will at some point say, well, we're at all-time highs. Maybe at all-time highs, it would be, you know, as soon as you hit this all-time high, maybe you'd want to sell. I don't know, just an idea, right? Um, and just sell whenever it pulls back significantly, right? Uh, you can even short it at that point if you're really confident that this thing has no value, which it doesn't, right? I mean, a lot of these cryptos don't have any value, so the chances of them hitting the moon are very small. It does happen sometimes, but really there's no, no real fundamental reason that any of these ridiculous cryptocurrencies are going to do anything right uh, that's the problem when i invested in it um i invested in a couple of them that i thought would have actual value um with the emphasis on i thought which is ridiculous right because then you have to ask yourself in what po possible universe are you an authority on this subject and do you actually know uh, anything at all about this right i mean wh wh what do you base that on so I don't really know what I was thinking. I don't... I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I, I really fail to understand. You just read through a page of, oh, this and this and that is what it does. It's faster than this and that. It does blah de blah de blah And then you have to understand somehow whether that's something people are going to find useful or not. Which is an incredibly difficult and contrived uh, sort of judgment because you have to understand marketing for example as well right uh, it's not enough to just understand the business on an operational level you have to understand all aspects of it which includes uh, the way it's gaining capital uh, and grow it's growing its capital right you have to understand uh, where the markets are where it's being traded right um, how it's being marketed uh, you have to understand which other coins are on the market competing with it right which are most similar potentially have competitive edges over this right what is its competitive edge what are other competitors competitive edges you have to just understand the whole territory the whole domain of the business not just this is what it does that's a start but that's not enough painful lesson lesson there last a few thousand uh, made a few thousand you know no biggie it's just a learning experience you know I remember back then when if i when i lost 1k that was like the end of the fucking world i was like devastated um which is the whole point i remember reading about him being like okay i really shouldn't buy based on fomo i shouldn't buy based on blah -de blah and sell based on blah -de blah and um i should be emotionless and if i think about it i was checking the price like three times every day you know i was like oh my god i have to invest right now because it's going to go up and i didn't realize that that is what FOMO means. Well, I was like convinced that Bitcoin was the next big financial revolution um, and used that as a disguise to make money. Because honestly, obviously, if you have 1K, you're not going to invest that in a societally responsible way because you're, you don't have any impact. You gain impact by getting money, right? If you have a lot of money, you can make an impact. So let's say Bill Gates doesn't earn more money, but he has an impact, right? Why doesn't he have an impact? Because he has money that he can use, right? So that is just the basics. But they're not 
they're not easy basics, they're contrived basics, they're basics that most people screw up, including me. Okay, so with that out of the way, um, look at these, right? Imagine if you're a new trader and you get all these people saying the same thing, and you're like, okay, these guys are really smart because they're all saying the same thing, that means that they're right. Right? No, because you can see these, these, these candlestick patterns, cup and handle, right? Cup and handle, let's see, cup and handle. But really, if you look at this, generally, January 9th, 2018, right? That was over here. That was over here. Look at that. That was here. If, if you would have bought and let's say, I, I read another video, just, just to quote more bad advice, don't set stop losses, hold on to it and reinvestigate after a while, right? Okay, let's hold on to it. No, 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 it's going to go up because we have indicators and we trust those indicators because they're good indicators and you lost all your money, right? Let's say if, if you leverage that um, or if you took a very large position size, then you would have lost all your money in one go, right? I mean, this is just minus infinity, like, you know. And just look at this stock. Like, look, if you see this, right? If you see this, would you call that a cup and handle? Like, what? Right, and what does this guy base that on? Right, let's look at that. Look at how contrived that is. If you just remove the lines and just look at the price action... Does this make you go, ooh, uptrend? No, right? Fuck that. And he's like, it's gonna go like this, and then like this, and then like this. He's making all these contrived guesses, like he knows the weather 10 years from now, based on some sort of weather pattern right now. And that is just absolute bogus. Look, look at the price action after this. I love this. I just absolutely love how completely bogus this has become. Like how completely, completely bogus. Look, look at it's ridiculous. Cup and handle. Like, look at cup and handle. So, so cup and handle, right? Trading, right? Cup and handle is a blah blah blah. Price wave down, followed by a stabilizing period, followed by a rally of approximately equal decline. Okay, so we're gonna look at this, right? Wow, that's a pretty big ad, not gonna lie. So you have downwards trend, upwards trend, downwards momentum, right? And to me, this is just the epitome of 50% win rate. Like, if a stock is just going bounce, 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 right? Up and down, up and down in only slight variations, you wouldn't be able to tell that that is off, right? Literally the only patterns that I've seen that make sense are like simple can once one pattern candlestick patterns like the shooting star and the hammer. Then you have like three bar plays like the, you know, big bar and then pull back and then, uh, you know, break out, right? Confirming the uptrend. And what more do you have? Bull and bear flags, right? Like entering into a consolidation period. That, that, that makes sense, right? But yeah, even ascending triangles and bloody blah, 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 maybe if you combine it, combine it with other factors, but I have achieved exactly 50% win rates with that so far. Absolutely doing nothing. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's load the new bars. Let's load the new bars. Oof. Oh, it went up by a little bit and then went down again. Okay. Well, anyway, I think my point is clear, right? It's just absolute horse radish. You could, you know. There, there's just absolutely nothing that I've found on this website in terms of trading ideas that makes any money at all. And uh, that's it. So I hope you learned some of the things I said here you know, mentality-wise, errors I've made, uh, avoid the bogus, avoid these stupid signals, just stick with the basics, stick with the very, very basics and fundamentals of price action and very basic indicators like MACD and RSI, that's it.
See you in the next one.